OpenAI Sora, creating video from text. Sora is an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. All videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. We're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion with the goal of training models that can help solve people's problems, blah, 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 blah. Prompt, a stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress, and black boots, and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights. Many pedestrians walk about. A uh, close-up shot of her face. And yeah, this AI model has a lot more temporal stability than any text-to-video AI that we've seen in the past. Clearly there's been a architectural breakthrough to allow this level of stability. Prompt, several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through a snowy meadow. Their long, woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk. Snow-covered trees and dramatic snow-capped mountains in the distance, mid-afternoon light with wispy clouds and a sun high in the distance creates a warm glow. The low camera view is stunning, capturing the large, furry mammal with beautiful photography depth of field. Prompt, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool-knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35mm film, vivid colors. This one impressed me a lot. I think just like, just immediately being wowed by like some of the shots like this shot <laughs> like uh i don't know like right here the camera going around all the lighting like the light reflecting off his beard and everything being like stable or like even at the beginning when let's see right here it's like the the light off of his helmet that looks like really impressive like this is definitely a this is definitely a step forward in generated video. Prompt, drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliffs along Big Sur's Garay Point Beach. The crashing blue waters create white-tipped waves while the golden light of the setting sun illuminates the rocky shore. A small island with a lighthouse sits in the distance and green shrubbery covers the cliff's edge. The steep drop from the road to the beach is a dramatic feat with the cliff's edges jutting out over the sea. This is a view that captures the raw beauty of the coast and the rugged landscape of the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, looks good. Prompt, animated scene features a close-up of a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. The art style is 3D and realistic with a focus on lighting and texture. The mood of the painting is one of wonder and curiosity as the monster gazes at the flame with wide eyes and open mouth. Its pose and expression convey a sense of innocence and playfulness as if it is exploring the world around it for the first time. The use of warm colors and dramatic lighting further enhances the cozy atmosphere of the image. I was never one for this style of... Uh... Like, you know, those fancy, I don't know, Pixar, like, fancy fur rendering in 3D for, like, cinema or whatever. <laughs> I was never too much a fan of it. But, I mean, it looks... It looks pretty stable. It looks pretty, uh... It looks pretty good. 
Prompt, a gorgeously rendered papercraft world of a coral reef, rife with colorful fish and sea creatures. Oh yeah, this one's kind of cool, because the prompt is a little bit more imaginative, and the AI delivers. So, I mean, there's, yeah, there's like, uh, the camera's even blurred in some spots. It looks like there's like, you know, a focal point on the camera, etc. It looks good. Prompt. This close-up shot of a Victoria-crowned pigeon showcases its striking blue plumage and red chest. Its chest is made of delicate lacy feathers, while its, its eye is a striking red color. The bird's head is tilted slightly to the side, giving the impression of it looking regal and majestic. The background is blurred, drawing attention to the bird's striking appearance. I like this one a lot because, like, the actual behavior of the bird, like, suddenly moving its head, then, I don't know, like, kind of like how its neck catches up or whatever, it looks really convincing. Like, the wiggle of the majestic plumage, right? <laughs> As it turns its head. Like, it looks like a video, right? It, it doesn't look, uh... It doesn't look fabricated. It looks very convincing. Prompt. Photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. So this is another creative prompt. I think sometimes maybe the lighting looks a little weird. But uh, the, the pirate symbol is very stable across frames. And like the, the, I don't know, like the liquid dynamics of the coffee is pretty good as well. So it's pretty impressive, even though I think maybe there are some lighting, lighting issues. Prompt, a young man at his 20s is sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. This one looks completely convincing. In, in the sense that, like... Like, it looks like someone filmed a guy and then maybe put the cloud there. Or, like, you know, maybe it was a green screen and then they put, like, a fluffy cloud prop or whatever but it looks like it doesn't look like an ai generation it looks very very convincing so it's very impressive today source is becoming available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risks yeah 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 okay prompt Histor historical footage of california during the gold rush i think uh I guess the the words historical footage here are like triggering a certain color scheme like kind of washed out colors <laughs> it reminds me of like some old footage right because because of the colors but it looks good i think this one's a good one prompt a close-up view of a glass sphere that has a zen garden within it. There is a small dwarf in the sphere who is raking the zen garden and creating patterns in the sand. I really like this one. I think it looks really good. I have no complaints about this one. It looks effectively perfect. Um, yep, yeah, this, one's, this one's excellent. It's excellent. Prompt, extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eye blinking, standing in Marrakech, Marrakech? I don't know how to pronounce this, during magic hour. Cinematic film shot in 70 millimeters, depth of field, vivid colors, cinematic. Uh, this one's kind of boring to me. There's probably a lot of reference footage of people's eyeballs, and so the training data that went into this is probably really common and although it is realistic it does not impress me prompt a cartoon kangaroo disco dances 
Uh, this one, I think they... I mean... It does seem to have some kind of, like... Understanding of how... A... 3D cartoon kangaroo might be doing some silly dance. Like, it, it reminds me of, like, what you'd expect to see if... If someone's job was to make the silly kang 3D kangaroo do a dance or whatever. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, it's like... It feels like it successfully grabbed the animation style or something that it needed to. That said, I'm not a fan of the style. Prompt a beautiful homemade video showing the people of Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056, shot with a mobile phone camera. Okay, this one, I think as far as theme goes, it's cool because it starts with this shot that doesn't seem like 2056, and then you have the subjects, and then... It goes out, and there you see all the development. So it's sort of like saying, here's the 2056 theme. And this one also has some temporal instability. If you look really closely at actually a number of things. First of all, that guy's black and white striped shirt. But also, like, the roof... The roof here is kind of messed up temporally. And then this shirt is kind of messed up temporally. And then it looks good once it gets closer. But then these chairs have some temporal artifacting as well. And then I think also the traffic in the distance is kind of... Uh, it almost looks like it's at a lower frame rate or something. Like it's not uh, as smooth as it should be. So you can start to see some flaws in the AI model for this one. But I think as far as the theme goes, like the theme of the prompts and like the camera pan or whatever, I think that's pretty impressive. Prompts, a petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it that has tiny red pandas running around. Okay, this one is a strange prompt. And given the strange prompt, I think it did a fantastic job. I mean, forests, I mean, th those things are placed like uh it's not so much a forest but the creatures and all the creatures hopping around on their two legs the little little two-legged panda creatures fluffing around i feel like i feel like there's something special here with taking that prompt and then generating this footage i think it did a pretty good job actually so i'm, I'm impressed with this one even though it's kind of weird Prompt, the camera rotates around a large stack of vintage televisions all showing different programs. 1950s sci-fi movies, horror movies, news, static, a 1970s sitcom, etc. Set inside a large New York museum gallery. Okay, so it said the camera rotates around. It's sort of like the camera very slowly pans, so there's not too much camera movement here. I'm not familiar with uh, too much 1950s, 1970s stuff. I'm getting, I guess, some like Alfred Hitchcock something, but. Or like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. The point is, I think the shot looks pretty believable. I'm sure you could like zoom in on small details and like try to find flaws, but like it. It, it comes across as, like, believable at a glance. I don't know too much to say about it. Prompt. 3D animation of a small, round, fluffy creature with big, expressive eyes explores a vibrant, enchanted forest. The creature, a whimsical blend of a rabbit and a squirrel, has... Soft blue fur and a bushy striped tail, it hops along a sparkling stream, its eyes wide with wonder. The forest is alive with magical elements, flowers that glow and change colors, trees 
with leaves and shades of purple and silver, and small floating lights that resemble fireflies. The creature stops to interact playfully with a group of tiny fairy-like beings dancing around a mushroom ring. The creature looks up in awe at a large glowing tree that seems to be the heart of the forest. So that's a pretty challenging prompt. And I think the video it produced is pretty funny. Um, there's some weirdness to it though as well. So something weird about it is like, I guess how it immediately changes colors right when the video starts. Another weird thing about it is like the hand, like the hand that comes in here, then like it looks kind of plasticky and then it like, it's just kind of weird. And the big creature is pretty funny, but there's also, there's also temporal instability in the creature's fur when it's hopping up and down. When it's like kind of more stationary, like at the bottom of its hop, it looks fantastic. But as it is hopping up and down, if you look at the fur, you can kind of see this temporal instability creeping in. So... I just thought I would make a note of that. Anyway, it's a really crazy prompt. And I don't know, it's a pretty strange... It's a pretty strange video, I think. Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how these things exist in the physical world. Prompt. The camera falls behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up a steep dirt road surrounded by pine trees on a steep mountain slope. Dust kicks up from behind its tires. The sunshine shines on the SUV as it speeds along the dirt road, casting a warm glow over the scene. The dirt road curves gently into the distance with no other cars or vehicles in sight. The trees on either side of the road are redwoods with patches of greenery scattered throughout. The car is seen from the rear following the curve with ease, making it seem as if it is on a rugged drive through the rugged terrain. The dirt road itself is surrounded by steep hills and mountains with a clear blue sky above with wispy clouds. Ugh, that was a mouthful. But I think it's a really a really good generation. It looks it looks very good. I think if you do look at some of the if you look at some of like the grassy stuff I think maybe you could yeah like right I don't know like the side of the road I think you can still see temporal instability but overall it looks pretty good I don't know there's not too much to say that prompt was too long oh this one's really cool prompt reflections in the window of a train traveling through the Tokyo suburbs so this one's really cool. At first glance, I see nothing wrong with like any of the landscape. And then of course, when you know it passes by there and you get the reflection of the girl in the window, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. I think it's a really, really powerful video generation here. It's good. A drone camera circles around beautiful historic church built, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I might not read all these out, honestly. I don't have too much to say about this one, really. Uh, I mean, I, I can't tell it's AI-generated. Maybe I could tell if I look closer. It looks pretty good. Octopus prompts. A large orange octopus is seen resting at the bottom of the ocean floor. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, this one's interesting because you have like a creature interacting with an octopus and an octopus is not like a common creature in video, I feel like. Although, of course, keyword octopus, I mean, I'm sure they have a large database of video, maybe from YouTube or something. So it learns what an octopus is kind of like. I mean, I don't know. Uh... I don't know too much to say really. I just think it's it's pretty impressive even though it might be a little it might be a little weird like some of the interactions like right there like the uh, like the purple circles are like moving or whatever that looks pretty strange, right? A flock of paper airplanes flutters through a dense jungle weaving around trees as if they were migrating birds. This one is like kind of interesting, except I feel like there's not 
enough interaction between the paper airplanes and the trees. They feel like two separate concepts that are not quite interwoven together enough into the scene. Doesn't feel like they're avoiding the trees really, it just kind of feels like they're superimposed over the trees. The trees look good, the paper airplanes look alright, they look pretty good. But as far as the interaction is concerned, I don't think it's uh, too much of a success. A cat waking its sleeping owner demanding breakfast. The owner tries to ignore the cat. The cat tries new tactics. And finally, the owner pulls out a secret stash of treats from under a pillow to hold the cat off for a while longer. Well, there's no secret stash. <laughs> there's just... There's just, like, the wrinkles above the nose as the cat interacts or whatever. I guess, like, this one's kind of impressive because, like, you have blankets like you know folding blankets with striped lines like folding and looking believable is pretty impressive right and then when the cat presses on the nose and there's like wrinkles or whatever and there's like kind of a funny face i don't know it looks pretty good it doesn't fully follow the prompt but like the actual result is impressive i think borneo wildlife on the Kinabatangan River. I probably butchered the pronunciation there. Uh, this one's really cool because I guess the high density of greenery on display all being very cohesive and stable and with the river running underneath and these birds just chilling, it looks like a, a really cool shot and it's also really believable too. Prompt a Chinese Lunar New Year celebration video with Chinese dragon. So I think you can see some artifacting on the far right. If you look at like, if you look at like what someone's holding here, right here, it's like morphing or something. It's like rapidly changing. <laughs> so you can like find evidence of the AI artifacting when you start looking at small details. But as far as like the general picture, it looks pretty good, I think. The model has deep understanding of language, enabling it to accurately interpret prompts and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. Sora can also create multiple shots within a single generated video that accurately persist characters and visual style. Prompt, tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. This one is kind of whatever. I don't like it too much. I guess because it's like it's like a rectangular room, camera moving like at a relatively stable rate through a rectangular room with like fixed non-motion objects. That's pretty boring to me, and it does not impress me. Okay, this one. So, prompt: a beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. So this one, I think the overall all shot is pretty, pretty incredible. But I think there's some. Let me take another look here. There's some like weirdness with like some of the people in the background like if we look at this person they kind of like disappear and then over here like as they walk towards this it's like i feel like she like falls through the floor <laughs> she like she just like falls through the floor or something i think the swooping camera and the distance it looks all good and the trees and everything the stalls it all looks good but as you examine those minute details it starts to uh the illusion starts to fall apart prompt a stop motion animation of a flower growing out of the windowsill of a suburban house whoops back up here we go i think ai should be pretty good at something like this there's like not too much motion happening and I think the temporal stability is really strong. And then, of course, I don't know, it just looks totally believable. 
I guess what's cool about this one is like the camera is moving as if someone's kind of holding it. But of course, the, in real life, the flower would take much longer to bloom like this. So it looks, it's a cool like video, I guess. The story of a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting. I don't know if I have too much to say about this one. Uh, we get that weird, we get that same weird camera thing right here where the camera suddenly decides to like rotate, like using the same shot, it decides to suddenly change its like rotation. It's kind of strange. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, an extreme close-up of a gray-bearded man with a beard in his 60s. Gray-haired man with a beard in his 60s. He is deep in thought, pondering the history of the universe as he sits in a cafe in Paris. His eyes focus on people off-screen as they walk. As he sits mostly motionless, he is dressed in a wool coat suit. Coat with a button-down shirt. He wears a brown beret and glasses and has a very professional appearance professorial appearance in the end he offers a subtle closed mouth smile as if he found the answer to the mystery of life the lighting is very cinematic with the golden light and the parisian streets and city in the background depth of field cinematic 35 millimeter film this one i think looks incredible <laughs> i don't think there's like a single flaw it's actually like a perfect shot i think it's really really good i think yeah this one uh a beautiful silhouette animation shows a wolf howling at the moon feeling lonely until it finds its pack now this one's interesting because it takes this like it takes like a certain animation style it's not like drawing from like realism it's drawing from like kind of this like 2d vectory silhouette art style so there's like it's a different type of thing it's like it it successfully mimics some aspects of the style where like you'll have you'll have certain elements that are like these 2D, how do I describe it? It's like each frame, like some some 2D aspects of the silhouette art are n unchanging between, it's almost like there are keyframes, right? And like, there's like an animation that, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's like keyframed, uh, like computer animation of silhouette 2D vector art or whatever. And it, it successfully imitates that. I just think it's kind of interesting. I don't really like the end result, although it gets it gets kind of crazy near the end here. Like, uh... I mean, it's kind of cool. It's it's pretty cool actually. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. This one prompt: New York City submerged like Atlantis. Fish, whales, sea turtles, and sharks swim through the streets of New York. So this one, I think there's a bit of a conceptual failing with the with the water floor down there. That's not like, I think it took uh, a little bit incorrect idea of submerged by putting that water line down there. And um, obviously they put all the... You know, all the f fish, whales, sea turtles. Are there sea turtles? Maybe there are. I don't know. But I think like there was some conceptual failing with the the water at the bottom. It's kind of cool, but I don't like it that much. I think it's kind of a, I don't know, like a 4 out of 10 or something.
prompt a litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Their heads pop out of the snow, covered in. I think it looks pretty good. I don't have too much to say about it. I guess that's pretty impressive right there, actually. <laughs> actually, it's pretty impressive, actually. I think it's a pretty good one, actually. I guess at the beginning when like the snow is falling and like the ears are flapping and all that. Like right here, that that impresses me. I think that looks pretty good. I'm sure if you're like looking extremely up close, you could probably see some artifacting on the fur or whatever, but whatever. The current model has weaknesses. It may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene. It may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterward the cookie may not have the bite mark. Mixing up left and right, struggle with precise definitions of events. Okay, so now they're trying to show videos with flaws in them. So here we go. Step printing scene of a person running. Cinematic film shot in 35 millimeters. Weakness. Sora sometimes creates physically implausible motion. Yeah, so right, there's like a little glitch right here. Where was it? Did I miss it? Right here. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, right there. Something's like... It's like he takes the wrong step twice or something. It's like kind of glitches. Prompt five gray wolf pups frolicking and chasing each other around a remote gravel road surrounded by grass. The pups run and leap, chasing each other and nipping at each other, playing. Weakness. Animals or people can spontaneously appear, especially in scenes containing many entities. Yeah, so this is showing like, oops, there's a wolf duplication glitch. The wolves are just duplicating. Like, there's clearly three of them. Four, five, six. And they're like, yeah, they're just duplicating wolves. I like this one. Okay, so prompt basketball through hoop, then explodes. And this one's funny because the basketball doesn't explode, but there's an explosion, and then the basketball becomes another basketball, and then the basketball falls through the hoop, breaking the laws of physics by just clipping through. And keep in mind, like, this thing is doing, like, neural rendering of video frames. It is not making 3d models right it's not running physics simulations it's like neural rendering of video frames so stuff like this is kind of interesting it's just an interesting like flawed generation as it morphs through Prompt, archaeologists discover a generic plastic chair in the desert, excavating and dusting it with great care. Weakness, in this example, Sora fails to model the chair as a rigid object, leading to inaccurate physics interactions. So here the chair is like, it's almost like a living creature. They pull it out, there's the chair, then... They let go of the chair, and the chair is kind of floating in the air and wandering off on its own. <laughs> it's a very interesting video, actually. Like, what does this AI know or not know about, like, rigid objects, etc.? It's very interesting. It's interesting, too, because, like, the scene is so realistic. The people in the scene are so realistic. It looks so believable in a way. And then the chair starts like dancing through the air or whatever. <laughs> it's very interesting, in my opinion. 
All right. Prompt. A grandmother with neatly combed gray hair stands behind a colorful birthday cake, etc., etc. She leans forward and blows out the candles with a gentle puff. So I think the problem here is that the interaction between her trying to blow out the candles and the candles didn't work. So she's blowing the candles and then there's no interaction with the candles, right? So there was a failing on the AI to figure that out. Safety. Red teamers, domain experts, misinformation, hateful content, and bias. A detection classifier that will tell when a video was generated by Sora. Metadata in the future, if we deploy the model, because right now I don't think anyone even has access to it other than insiders. Safety methods. Our text classifier will check and reject text input prompts that are in violation of our usage policies. Violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness, or the intellectual property of others. Yeah, they're going to lock it down. Um, we've also developed robust image classifiers that are used to review the frames of every video generated to help ensure that it adheres to our usage policies. All right, we have some more examples here. The camera directly faces colorful buildings in a in Burano, Italy. An adorable Dalmatian looks to the window on the building of the ground floor. Many people are walking and cycling along the canal streets in front of the buildings. So in this one, there's just the Dalmatian. There's no walking and cycling happening, really. But the video is fantastic. It's colorful and wonderful, right? Looks great even though it didn't do the whole prompt. Prompt, an adorable happy otter confidently stands on a surfboard wearing a yellow life jacket, riding along turquoise tropical waters near lush tropical islands, 3D digital render art style. So here we have that kind of, I don't know what to call it, Pixar, whatever. So when you get these like furry cartoon creatures, but they're rendered with like realistic lighting, etc. I don't I don't know much to say about it really. It's interesting it says otter with one T. <laughs> I don't know. Uh iguana? No, chameleon. Close-up shot of a chameleon showcases its striking color-changing capabilities. The background is blurred, drawing attention to the animal's striking appearance. Okay, so it's green. Does it change colors? 20 more seconds of video. I mean, I think the creature looks really good. The motion looks pretty realistic to me. It looks plausible to me. And yet, I didn't see color change. I don't think it changed colors, so it didn't do that. Prompt, a corgi vlogging itself in tropical Maui. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yes. I like this one. Uh, I like it other than like the the selfie camera, the selfie stick is just like stuck into its fur. Like, there's not, like, a plausible way that it is sitting there like that. Other than that, it looks really good, right? It looks really good other than the selfie stick mysteriously floating there, right? Looks fantastic, though. Prompt. A black and orange tabby cat is seen happily darting through a dense garden. As if chasing something, its eyes are wide and happy as it jogs forward, scanning the branches, flowers, and leaves as it walks. The path is narrow as it makes its way between all the plants. The scene is captured from a ground-level angle, following the cat closely, giving a low and intimate perspective. 
The image is cinematic with warm tones and a grainy texture. The scattered daylight between the leaves and plants above creates a warm contrast, accentuating the cat's orange fur. The shot is clear and sharp with a shallow depth of field. This might be... I haven't looked at this one too much, but it, it might be one of the most impressive ones to me. It just looks incredible, right? Isn't this one incredible? I think this is one of the best ones. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Maybe it's because I like cats. But... It just looks amazing, I think. It looks fantastic. Really amazing technology, really. Prompt aerial view of Santorini during the blue hour, showcasing the stunning architecture of white cycladic buildings with blue domes. The caldera views are breathtaking, and the lighting creates a beautiful, serene atmosphere. So it's a panning shot of this, like, yeah, this aerial view panning architecture shot. It's all right. I mean, it's okay. I don't think it's a, too complex other than the architecture. I mean, there's obviously a lot of details, you know, this rotation happening. But, I mean, I think it's not too much more advanced than that. And so, it is what it is. Prompt tilt shift of a construction site filled with workers, equipment, and heavy machinery. Um, well, they get the tilt shift thing, you know, where they blur the top and bottom, and you have, like, the focus on the dude driving around. Uh, trying to take a look at some of the other people walking around. <laughs> some of it's a little, some of it looks a little weird, but... I don't know. It's not terrible. Oh yeah, this one. Prompt. A giant towering cloud in the shape of a man looms over the earth. The cloud man shoots lightning bolts down to the earth. This one is extremely bizarre to me. It's kind of funny. It's like... Okay, okay, look at this. So, the cloud man above the earth. Okay, fair enough, right? Boom! As he turns, this other cloud like appears and like moves forward. Look at this. And then he's looking, and then and here's like all this lightning coming from above him. It's not coming from the clouds. And it's actually like a really interesting shot here. Boom, 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 with like pretty consistent lightning bolt placement and everything. It's really it's really interesting and then he dabs and then this strange dark shot where you can see his like lumpy big face with this expression and then the lightning bolt is like frozen as the camera still pans and then there's still like six full seconds of this one shot it's so bizarre to me it's very strange I'm just like looking at it, I'm like, wow. Boom, 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 boom. Dabs. And then strange, strange long prolonged shot like this. It's so strange. But it's it's kind of interesting that it's strange. It's kind of funny and it's interesting. And I guess my favorite part is like right here. But the dab thing in the dark, the dark, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's so crazy. All right. Some doggos playfully romping through a futuristic neon city at night. Yeah. This one looks very believable to me. It looks really good. It's very neon. It is. It looks pretty good. 
And finally, is this the last one? The Glenfinnan Viaduct is a historic railway bridge in Scotland, UK that crosses over the West Highland Line between the towns of Maliag and Fort William. It is a stunning sight as a steam train leaves the bridge traveling over the arch-covered viaduct. <clears throat> uh, I think it's good. I don't know. It's good. It's a nice, like, still, right? It's like a still shot with motion. And I think it looks pretty good. Alright, it's a diffusion model. Generates a video by starting off with one that looks like static noise and gradually transforms it by removing the noise over many steps. Capable of generating entire videos all at once or extending generated videos to make them longer. By giving the model foresight of many frames at a time, we've solved a challenging problem of making sure a subject stays the same even when it goes out of view temporarily. Similar to GPT, uses transformer architecture, unlocking superior scaling performance. We represent videos and images as collections of smaller units of data called patches, each of which is akin to a token in GPT. By unifying how we represent data, we can train diffusion transformers on a wider range of visual data than was possible before, spanning different durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. Builds on past research in DALI and GPT. Uses the recaptioning technique from DALI 3, which involves generating highly descriptive, descriptive captions for the visual training data. As a result, the model is able to follow the user's text instructions in the generated video more faithfully. The model is able to take an existing still image and generate a video from it, animating the image's contents with accuracy and attention to small detail. The model can also take an existing video and extend it or fill in missing frames. Look more and learn more in our technical paper coming later today. Yeah, I'm curious. I hope that they do release a very in-depth technical paper on the architecture, etc., and that we start to see open source variants and all kinds of cool stuff, such as the LoRa's that were created for stable diffusion, so that we can get more uh you know, um, I don't know, grassroots or like, like other people running local models, etc., and getting some results that are, you know, better than they were before. Because clearly, uh, the results here are much better than anything we've seen before for text to video and video AI generation in general. Anyway, that's me talking about Sora. I thought it was interesting. And, you know, someday you'll be able to give a script and get back a two-hour film without ever holding a camera. So, that's interesting. Of course, I'm also curious about AI in 3D modeling, uh, game engines, game development, and... Of course, user data, user preferences. Uh, I don't know, digital twinning or cloning of individuals or feeding preferences en masse to create refined custom personal AIs, etc. And of course, the persistence of those AIs in networks, maybe decentralized networks. Um, and of course, Jeff Hinton's recent talks on the concept of, I guess, immortality in terms of the duplication of information one-to-one, -one, uh, digital consciousnesses, singularity, blah, blah, you know, all, all that good shit. So, yep, that's Sora. Uh, thanks for listening. Just thought I'd make a video.